whenever the lock screen appears on your computer, you will often see the same picture in the background, like this one or this one. This appears when you turn your computer on or restart it or whenever you activate the lock screen yourself. But the background picture can be changed to any image that you'd like. You can replace it with one of your own photos or you could even have it rotating through a set of photos that you have on your computer. So here's how to change the lock screen picture. Click in the search box and type lock screen settings, then click on lock screen settings. Click on the down arrow here and choose picture. Here's a preview of the current lock screen picture. You can change this for one of these photos just here or you can click on Browse, select one of your own photos that you have on your computer, then click on Choose Picture. As you can see, the preview box is now showing the photo that I've just selected. Scroll down and make sure this option is turned on, which reads, Show Lock Screen Background Picture on the Sign In Screen. You can also change your screen saver settings from here if you want to, and your screen timeout settings too. If you only want one photo to appear in the background of your lock screen, then that's all you have to do. You don't have to save your new settings, so just close this window. To make sure your new photo appears in the lock screen, press and hold the Windows key on your keyboard and press the letter L. Now the lock screen is shown. To get back into Windows, press any key on your keyboard. You will then be asked for your Microsoft password. This is the same password you use every time you turn your computer on or restart your computer. OK, so let's go back to the desktop. If you would like your lock screen background to play through a set of photos that you have on your computer, first go back to where we were before by typing lock screen settings in the search box, then click on it. Click on the down arrow just here and select Slideshow. Next, just under where it says Choose Albums for your Slideshow, you may have some albums here already. These need to be removed first, otherwise your own photos might not be shown. By the way, removing these will not remove any photos or folders from your computer. So click on an album, then select Remove. Do the same with any other albums that are shown here. Next, if you have a folder of photos that you'd like to show in the background of your lock screen, then click on Add a Folder. Choose your folder of photos, then select Choose this folder. Next, click on Advanced Slideshow Settings. The first option reads, include camera roll folders from this PC and OneDrive. Turn this option off. The second option is, only use pictures that fit my screen. Turn this off. Next option, when my PC is inactive, show lock screen instead of turning off the screen. This option is up to you, but I've set mine to on. And the last option here, Turn off screen after slideshow has played for 30 minutes, 1 hour, 3 hours or don't turn off. I'm going to set mine to 30 minutes. Once you've finished here, go back to the main options by clicking on the back button. If you scroll down, there are a few more options here. You don't have to change them, but you might want to see what Windows has enabled by default, just out of interest. For example, Get fun facts on your lock screen. You can turn this option on or off. Once you're done here, close this window, then press the Windows key and the letter L on your keyboard to see your slideshow on the lock screen. In this example I'm shown here, I've sped this up so you can see what the end result looks like at a glance. Now let me quickly show you the third and final option. Let's go back to the lock screen settings Click on the down arrow and select Window Spotlight and close this window. This option will show various pictures from the internet when your lock screen is shown. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video.